Galnet News Update, 24th of November 3308. Logs recovered from the wreck of the Peace Mission megaship has shed light on its fate and strongly suggest that Stargoid Taranis is less interested in peace with humanity than the Thargoid Advocacy Project wants peace with the Thargoids. Rani Zaman of the project, who'd been monitoring the Kingfisher from its base in Andavandal, explained that a garbled message, believed to be a distress call, was received this morning, and that Congressman Dalton Chase had arranged for the permit lock to be removed to allow search and rescue ships to check on the welfare of those on the Peace megaship. Fleet carriers are still not permitted to visit the system for reasons of safety. The Kingfisher was discovered at around 8 this morning, completely destroyed, well before Stargoid Taranis passed by the site, at just before 5pm this evening, Taranis is now well within the human bubble and continues to head towards the heart of the region. It appears from the logs that the Kingfisher was destroyed by Thargoids accompanying Stargoid Taranis and that the Thargoids waited near the wreck to collect the escape pods of those who tried to save themselves. Thargoids are known to collect escape pods, although the reason for this is not yet understood. Galnet News Digest has obtained copies of the logs recorded by Dr. Elias Pope during the voyage of the Kingfisher. These logs are available to anyone who scans the comms uplinks on the wreck and commanders are urged to visit the site for themselves. If you do not yet wish to hear the logs, stop listening now. What to say, what to say. I suppose I should start at the beginning. <clears throat> this is Dr. Elias Pope. Standing aboard the Kingfisher. The megaship smells brand new. All aerosol sprays and adhesives. Our research equipment is current generation. Even the corridors have been polished. Alton Chase sure kept his word. Everyone on board is excited about the mission ahead of us. We've been given the chance to make history. This ship, carrying over 3,000 supporters of the Thargoid Advocacy Project, aims to greet the first of the rogue anomalies headed towards the core systems. Tyrannus. We want the first human ship it meets to be one of peace, not war. My role is to lead the team seeking to open communications with the Thargoids. Now, we're hardly going to strike up a conversation anytime soon. We don't even know whether the aliens recognize human communication methods, but we have some ideas. There are multiple methods of sending messages without a shared language. My team has proposed various data sequences, audio cues, light patterns, and such. If we can establish any level of response, then we'll have something to work with. Imagine the incredible opportunities for both our species if we can make contact. True contact. Not just an exchange of weapons fire. If they heard us, <laughs> I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Our jump to intercept Tyrannus is scheduled for an hour's time. I'll update when we arrive. We've reached our destination in Hyades Sector YOQB51 and started our observations. So far, we've been unable to make much headway. Tyrannus signal has decelerated, but our calculations indicate it will still pass us by at a velocity too fast for any meaningful contact unless we get its attention. We're transmitting algorithmic comms, binary encoded hails, and a series of harmonized whistles that don't occur naturally in the galaxy's electromagnetic makeup. Too little noticeable effect, I should add. Our readings confirm Professor Palin's theory that the signal source is massive. If our estimates are correct, Tyrannus dwarfs any man-made starboard. We remain hopeful that the signal has a non-military purpose, but we cannot ascertain its motives through long-range scans alone. Mood aboard the Kingfisher is apprehensive. I believe it is dawning upon the crew that while we truly wish to make peaceful contact, Thargoids themselves may not be listening. I have to admit, I'm beginning to wonder whether we made the right decision by coming here. If only we had a sign, 
that our efforts meant something. This is Dr. Elias Pope. I'm standing on the bridge of the Kingfisher. If you're receiving this transmission, we need federal authorities to cancel system access restrictions. Send help immediately! The ship has been attacked by multiple Thargoid vessels. They swarm the system as Tyrannus passed through. We are defenseless! After days of silence, we heard a noise from the Tyrannus signal moments before it entered the system. I don't have time to analyze it properly, but the Thargoid ships appeared moments later. This mission was doomed from the start. We hope they would listen, but... I don't know whether I should use one of the remaining escape pods. The helmsmen claim they saw others that were jettisoned being collected by Thargoid ships. My assistant, she's... She's praying to a god she doesn't believe in for a miracle that can't happen. I'm thinking of joining her. It wasn't supposed to be like this. The failure of the peace mission is a devastating blow to all who had hoped that peace might still be possible between humanity and the Thargoids. An escalation in the long-running Second Thargoid War now seems inevitable.